All right, everybody. Uh, we have had Coach Pat Noonan. Coach, if you want to begin with an opening statement. First off, thank you to the, um, the fans. They were incredible tonight, man. That atmosphere was, uh, was special, and I really wish we could have given them uh, a proper send-off. It felt like it was there for us, but um, it wasn't meant to be. I'm also very proud of our group, but the players, the effort they put in, um, I wish they could be rewarded with three points tonight. This is, uh, this is a tough one. We'll get into questions. Pat, go ahead. Pat, I'd like to, well, people are very interested in the, yeah. the first Columbus goal. Yeah. Do you have an opinion? Obviously, a lot happened. They're that. interested because it's clear. That's why they're interested, is because this has happened to a point now where it's an embarrassment in our league. I feel for our guys. I watched the, the Portland-Seattle goal. It's, it's not just us. I will continue to say that. But it is a huge problem that guys that put in that much continue to get punished by just really, really poor officiating across the board. Let me be clear. We should see the game out. You're asking about the, the offside goal. So we yeah. go up two to one. We should see the game out. So that's on us. Again, I, I wonder where six minutes comes from. And, and the reasons you, you get for, you know, the offside goal, the checkpoint's different than what they see in Atlanta. How can the checkpoint be different? How do you not have that view? Or how can you not just look at it and say, I should check this? This is something that doesn't look right. But again, that's the norm. So right now I'm the excuse guy, and, and that's, it stinks. But I want to protect our players because they put too much into it to be robbed like that. You just gave some broad strokes about maybe the exchange you had with in seeking an explanation. Did, did they give you an explanation as to why it was not? The checkpoint was different. Okay. Uh, something about the checkpoint being different uh, in Atlanta or with the feed maybe we had in the, in the stadium. You know, whatever, what that means, I don't know. Have you guys... I hear about different clubs and coaches and yeah. officials and other clubs have contact with people at Pro. Howard Webb will reach out occasionally. Have you guys yeah. had any contact? With they them? were late to the game and coming with a, a call as to the, the amount that I think we've dealt with this year. They were late to the game with reaching out. So at this point, what's, what, what, what's a conversation going to do? Yeah. What, what are we going to gain out of that? More of that? I don't see the point in it. So... A lot did happen after 1-1. Yeah. Um, what, what made that so difficult? What, what was the breakdown there on Columbus's second goal? Yeah, I mean, I think we could do a better job of getting pressure to the ball. I think we went into kind of protect mode. You know, you just want to see the game out, and you just want to make sure that nothing gets behind you. But when you, when you defend that deep at times, it's just free, free service into the box without real pressure and, and that becomes difficult to be continue to handle those um those balls with the with runners and them pushing for a goal so we could do better to close it and you know we could do better you know clearing it we could do better with the second ball we could have done a lot better pat the uh second goal kind of took you guys out of the driver's seat again for a playoff position right um five games left to go eighth place um, what it, where does the needle of emphasis change and just kind of going in for the kill in these final five weeks, and what does that look like right now after a game like this? We're still in the mix, you know. It's, it's two points where we, we, where we lost that allow, um, you know, other teams to potentially jump us or you, you find yourself still chasing it a little bit, but um, we're going to go after it. We're not going to change, you know, the mentality. I think you saw a hungry team tonight that wants to be a playoff team, but closing games out is is the difference right now so um you know we, we still have enough games to find ourselves in the playoffs so it's it's in our hands yeah and um hopefully to kind of change the subject a little bit how nice was it to get dom and sergio back were you pleased with how busy yeah. they got immediately and obviously brandon's been fantastic but how important are their workloads going to be in closing out the season yeah it gives us more options um you know i thought we had a really good chance that the, the two of them created to kind of finish the game um, where we weren't able to capitalize, but 
um, you could still see the the rust in some ways with just um, having been out for so long. But um, I think we continue to push them in ways where they can be, uh, you know, really uh, important pieces for us in this stretch run. Pat, uh, after 1-1, Cincinnati went right down. Uh, very determined effort, and the goal came very quickly. What did you think of the response in that moment? Yeah. Before I answer that, I apologize for my language. You know, I think the moment's getting the best of the emotion, so I shouldn't be saying that up here. But um, I like the response. You know, I think sometimes it takes, sadly, a, a moment like that, a chance that you concede or a goal that you concede to, to start playing again. And the response was good to find a way to, to get the, the goal back quickly um, and get the momentum back quickly. So uh, I was certainly happy with how quickly we went about um, regaining the lead. Last one, one more. This is an emotional one. Um, it feels different from other draws lately that have come. Yeah. Uh, how do you pick yourself and the team up from this? Take that same energy, the same belief we had before the game that we were going to step on the field and win and, and, and carry that into the next game and use it as motivation. You know, it's, it can go one of two ways, but we, we can't feel sorry for ourselves. It's, there's still a lot to play for, and we need to, to turn it around uh, quickly so that we have a strong performance and a better result uh, next weekend. Thank you, Pat. All right, guys.